everybody. Ten seconds to air. Ten, Ten seconds. I was thinking about earlier today, 60 years, pretty much 60 years since this opened on Broadway. And then you do the revival. How, how, that seems like a long time to wait for a revival of one of the greatest shows ever written. Why did it take so long to get it back on Broadway? Well, the show's been done a lot over the country in tours and move, the famous movie and television, but it's a difficult show to do and uh, it's very hard to cast. But people must have wanted to put on productions in that time. I don't know whether they did or not. I know in the case of Lincoln Center Theater, we tried for years and years to get the rights from the Rogers and Hammerstein So what was office. holding it up? Well, they didn't want to give it out in New York, or people thought, oh, the show's dated or difficult or whatever. And finally, I had just given up. It's my favorite show in the yeah, world, yeah, and yeah. I had given up, and I thought, that's over, it's it. And then Ted Chapin, who's the president of the Rogers and Armstrong organization, called me up and said, now, are you still, what about South Pacific? And I had, I thought, oh God, South Pacific. I had fallen out of love, you know, after so many years. <laughs> yeah. But then he said, if you can figure out a way to do it, then Lincoln Center Theater can have the rights, because a lot of people had wanted the rights. And I went home and I thought, because of the light in the piazza and my knowledge of him, Bartlett Shear, yeah. and telling yeah. it as a play with as music. As a play, as a play, that's the play. thing. This is a play. Yeah, it was a Pulitzer Prize winning drama. And it, so when I read the script, he gave me the script. I started with the script. I didn't start with the you, movie. Had you ever anything. seen any production of this? I hadn't, no. So you were just getting it off I, the page. And I just read the script and I thought, this is one of the best scripts I've read in a long time. It captured so much about who we were as Americans. It was so close to, and it had so much information over the last 60 years about who we'd become that it had to be looked at again as a great piece of writing, as a great piece of musical writing and a great book. And you know, you know it is so captivating. It doesn't matter how many times you see it. I've seen this production three times. I blubber every time, as yeah. soon as the orchestra starts in the yeah. overture. And, and I was sitting here watching it on the monitor tonight, and I'm hearing people laughing all around me. It's the cast members. Yeah. They've seen it how many Thousands hundreds of times, of times and they're times still today. taken by and it. Most of them have been with the show since the very beginning. Oh, that's one, two and a half years ago. Now, there's a company out now on tour. On right? tour, it's where been are on they tour. now? What city? Right now, they're in Toronto, Canada, and they're going to be all over, you know, the uh, northern United States and into Washington. Again, you've got to see this as beautiful as this is on the screen. It's great Just on tour. To be too. in the room with them when that airplane comes out, when that those soldiers march slowly down the city. Yeah. I can't, I don't want to give things away. It's just unbelievable. Thank you. We got to go. Die. They're playing the, or the, know, the overture yeah, no, for the second act. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bart Shear. Well. It's been an Andre Bishop, thank, thank you, you well. so much. What a show.